Hey students, Mr. Murphy here. So let's go over some review stuff, uh, the slope stuff. Uh, some people are still struggling with it, so let me walk through you on a video and hopefully you can get it this week. Uh, so we're understanding the connections between proportional relationships, lines, and linear equations. Specifically, we're graphing proportional relationships and interpreting the unit rate as the slope of the graph. Okay, so uh, up here, that's the equation, and over here is the graph. So you have an x cord, an x-axis along the bottom, you have a y-axis going up. So this equation can be graphed, and we do that by plotting points and then drawing a line between them. So if we pick 0 for x, so we put a 0 in for x, and then we say 3 fourths times 0 is 0. So we have a point at 0, 0, and that would be down over here. So there's the point right there. Um, and then if we pick the next point, we can pick any point we want for it because we're putting it into x and multiplying by 3 fourths. But I chose 4 because 3 fourths times 4 is 3. Uh, anything 1 and 2 would be, uh, they wouldn't be whole numbers. So they wouldn't be good points, right? Because 3, 4, 3 is right over here on the two lines. Uh, and then I'm going to put in a third one just for fun. So I chose 8. 8 times 3 fourths is, oh, sorry, I forgot. Uh, so you can see the slope is 3 over 4. So starting from the point, we can go up 3 and over 4. And that's where the next point is. So the next point, the good point that's on, a, on the graph somewhere, would also be up 3 and over 4. That would be at 8, 6. So go up 3 over 4. So this line, this proportional relationship, goes up at a constant rate. It's going always going up 3 and over 4. And we can see that in the equation because it's 3 fourths. We can see it on the table because the y goes up by 3 and the x goes up by 4. And the y goes up by another 3, the x goes up by another 4. When we have all these points on the graph, if we draw a line between them, we have a straight line that goes to the origin. Okay. So those are the important things about proportional relationships. Uh, it's a straight line going through the origin if we graph it. If it's an equation, we have y equals something times x. And if we have a table, the x, uh, the y goes up by a certain amount, and then the x goes up by a certain amount. In this case, the y goes up by 3, and the x goes up by 4. Okay. So when we're comparing two different proportional relationships, or represented in different ways, what we need to compare are the equation and the graph and the table. So we have to pick one, or, or we're given one or, the, or one or the other, and then we just compare them. These are obviously the same because you can see the y goes up by 3, the x goes up by 4, and the equation is 3 over 4x. This table is also the same because as we can see, the y goes up by 3 and the x goes over by 4. So these are all the same. If we're comparing them, they're the same because they have the same slope because that's really the only thing that we care about on uh, proportional relationships is, is it in slope? Uh, what is the slope? Right? And so, in summary, the connections between proportional relationships, lines, and linear equations, first of all, it's a proportional relationship, so there's a constant change. As the x value changes, then the y value changes by a constant amount. So every time you change the x by a certain amount, the y will change by a certain amount, and it'll always be constant like that. Uh, there are three representations of the proportional relationship. You have the 
a graph, which is a straight line going through the origin, uh, and it changes at a constant rate. Then we have the table where the y values are going up by a constant amount and the x value is going up by a constant amount. Um, it's a constant rate of change. And then we have the equation, and the equation has a slope that is the same as the rate of change in both the table and on the graph. Okay. So when we're comparing our proportional relationships, um, the table graph and the equation all show the same constant rate, or they'll have a different constant rate, but in this case they'll have the same constant rate of 3 over 4, or 3 to 4. Uh, the graph rises 3 units for every 4 units it goes over, and in the table the y increases by 3 as the x increases by 4, and in the equation it has a slope of 3 over 4. And when we're comparing proportional relationships, basically the only thing that defines a proportional relationship is that constant of proportionality, which when we graph it, we call the slope.